Hello, my name is Charles. I want to welcome you to Serial Design FX, the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. This video is going to be about the dark side of personal branding. My name is Charles. I coach ambitious executives into becoming key persons of influence in their industry. When I'm coaching people, I typically do personality analysis, but I also look into their psychology because there tend to be some things lurking in the background that may come up to haunt them on their personal brand journey. You're seeing this in the media now. You've seen it with P. Diddy, and you've all seen it with Kamala Harris. I'm going to talk about several instances that you might not be aware of, of how your personal brand and how you use the social media can come back to haunt you. My first client involves a book launch. He had wrote his personal story. It was a beautiful story. And he wanted to launch it on the internet and sell his book. I said, okay, fine. I built him a beautiful website, created him a channel on the internet so he can show his work because he also had produced some plays. So when we launched it, everything started out fine. He's People are following him on Facebook. We launched it through his personal Facebook page first. And this is what started to happen. I'm posting and all of a sudden in my Facebook Messenger, I get a contact that says, my name is so-and-so. Did you know this blah, blah, blah about blah, blah? I said, no, but okay, thank you for telling me. The next thing I know, I get another one on Facebook Messenger. My name is so-and-so. Did you know this about so-and-so, blah, blah, blah? I said, no, thank you for telling me. This prompted me to say, I better do some investigation because this is starting to snowball into something that may be detrimental. So I went and looked at his Facebook page, his personal Facebook page. And this is one of the things that I warn people when you're coming on social media that your Facebook social media could come back to haunt you in your life and destroy your life. I looked at his Facebook page and he had connected with a lot of salacious women on Facebook and they were all in his Facebook page and you could look through there if you was a friend of his, you could see where he was looking at these women pictures. They're not sexual, but you know, the, you know, they're catfishing. And so I contacted him and he said, oh, and he, he didn't even, we didn't even think about it. So he went through there and deleted them, but it didn't stop there. The two women that contact me were his girlfriends. He's got two girlfriends and they both on his Facebook page, but they didn't know about each other. And a matter of fact, when they found out, come to find out, they knew each other, but they didn't both know that they were each dealing with the same man. This is a true story. It's like, wow. Then what made it even worse, this guy was in the church. Yep, he was in the church. He was a youth director. And it just caused a whole lot of problem. We let the book launch die, and so did his personal brand died a quiet death along with it. That's number one. Number two, Susan B. Komen Cancer Awareness. Every year they have a Cancer Awareness Month and women use that as a fundraiser for Susan B. Komen, which is a good thing, and try to bring some brand awareness to their business. A woman had hired me to promote her Susan B. Coulson, Susan B. Coleman 
Cancer Awareness event. She was an event planner. So she planned an event and it was going to be a fundraiser where the funds were going to go to Susan B. Coleman. I took on the assignment and I posted it that I had a new client on my business page and this was an upcoming event trying to see the internet to let them know to be aware so that I also use and leverage my own social media for my clients where appropriate. The minute I posted that about her event, one of my contacts on Facebook, who happened to be a personal friend, called me on the phone. And he told me, he said, do you know this woman? I told him, yeah, she was a client. He said, did you know that she's doing this? Go over on Instagram. Now, her Instagram account was actually blocked. However, because he was a service provider that had provided some services for her in the entertainment area, he was a friend and he had access to her Instagram account. Come to find out she was doing some catfishing, men baiting. I never really got the details, but it was something that you didn't want people to know you were doing. It, it would destroy your reputation. I contacted her. I said, well, you know that people can see this, right? She went off on me talking about this is my personal business. What I do with my personal business is me. And she went off on me. And all I'm trying to do is warn her that this is out there. And so she canceled her event and she canceled the contract. If you're liking this content so far, subscribe, like, and share, because I'm going to be presenting more and more brand content, and there's a lot of it, the good, bad, and the ugly, on the Ultimate Brand Design channel by Serio Design FX. Third, I work with a particular client, and we revealed through his psych test that he had some issues. He was a dynamic speaker. He would speak in front of audiences. However, he carried some emotional wounding from his childhood, which made him insecure about his masculinity. But because he was going to be exposed through these speaking events to a lot of people, he would also get approached by very salacious and provocative women. And in order to soothe his feelings and his insecurity, he started, he would occasionally have girlfriends on the side. The only problem is he's married. These are the kind of things that I run into the dark side of personal branding that can come back to haunt you. That's why it's ideal to get a personal brand strategy consultant to sort through these issues so that you, when you run into them, you will know how to handle them so that you don't fall victim to your own weaknesses and character defects in your personality. You've seen this play out in real life. You've seen this play out in Kamala Harris. This is played out with P. Diddy and Epstein. They get this power, privilege, and prestige. And for some reason, they don't know about their dark side. And they act on it. And eventually, it comes out and destroys their personal life. That's the dark side of personal branding. My name is Charles Davis. Thank you for watching. Click like and click share.